Hi everyone, my name is Samuel Boulanger and I'm a Digital Technical Specialist for Microsoft. Today I want to show you how Dynamics 365 Sales can help you empower sellers in your organization using out-of-the-box machine learning and artificial intelligence tools. During the video, I'll go through two scenarios. In the first scenario, I'll show you how you can create better relationships using tools like the Relationship Assistant, LinkedIn Integration, and Relationship Analytics. During the second scenario, I'll show you how you can eliminate guesswork while prospecting and personalize customer interactions using tools like lead scoring, sequences, and conversation intelligence. Now, let's start with the first scenario, where I'll play the role of David, a seller at Contoso. We'll see how he can get notified when a customer contacts leave the company and how he can quickly identify who took over, thanks to the integration with LinkedIn Sales Navigator. How he can improve and track the relationship with his customers using relationship analytics. How he can figure out the best way to get introduced to a customer using LinkedIn and who knows whom. And finally, how we can easily identify conversation starters with the help of the talking point functionality. Now, let's dive into the system. As David, I got notified that a new opportunity has been assigned to me, so I navigate to my opportunities list, and directly from there, I can already leverage useful information provided by the system. I can use relationship help, which helped me identify how well my relationship with the stakeholders involved in my opportunity is going, and I, how it evolved over time using the relationship health trend. So I can see if it's going fair, good, poor, is it improving, is it steady, or is it declining? I can also see how much time my team has spent on each opportunity and how much time has been spent engaging with the customer for each of them. So with that information in mind, I can take action to improve the time spent on each customer or to improve my relationship. To help me prioritize my opportunities, I can leverage embedded charts like this relationship pipeline chart. On this chart, each upcoming opportunity is plotted as a bubble. The size of each bubble indicates the estimated revenue of the opportunity. Health is plotted on the y-axis, so the higher up the bubble appears on the chart, the higher its health. The estimated close date is plotted on the x-axis, so opportunities on the left side of the chart may expire soon. So the most critical opportunities are those with the largest bubbles located near the lower left corner, while the most promising opportunities are near the top of the chart. So in that case, I'll select this big opportunity that just has been assigned to me. And to navigate to his form, I'll just click on the bubble. So I'm now on the opportunity form. And first thing I can notice is this opportunity score. In a highly competitive market, it's important that I spend my time on quality opportunity to reach my sales target. So that's where opportunity scoring helps me to identify and prioritize opportunities that have more chance of converting into win. So in that case, I have a 83% likelihood of winning these opportunities. And the score is improving over time. The out-of-the-box predictive machine learning models choose top factors that influence the score and assign it a score between 0 and 100 based on signals from the opportunities itself and related entities such as contact and account. It also tells me the top positive and negative reasons that influence that score. So it helps me analyze and work on the opportunity to improve the score and convert it to a possible win. So now I can scroll down and navigate to my assistant. My assistant keeps an eye on my daily action and communications and help me stay on top on my day with inside cards. So that's based on my email, my task, my phone calls, etc. that has been tracked in the system. Like in that case, it's leveraging LinkedIn Sales Navigator integration. And it tells me that my main contact, Kevin Martin, for this opportunity, has left the company. So directly from there, I can open the organizational chart and it really gives me a clear view of the organization decision maker and all their relationship by again leveraging the integration with LinkedIn Sales Navigator. In that case, I can see that the new cafeteria manager who replaced Kevin is Alex Baker. 
So I can double click on her profile picture and directly from there, I can have contacts detail coming from LinkedIn. If I want to get to introduce myself to her, I can directly use Sales Navigator or send an email directly from this page. So I don't need to navigate between two applications. It's all done from one single place. But before introducing myself to her, I want to make sure that the opportunity relationship is going well. So I'll navigate back to my opportunity and I'll navigate to this relationship analytics tab. As a seller, it's important for me to understand what's working better for a deal and learn about the best engagement practices from similar deals that were won in the past in my organization. And that's where relationship analytics can help me. In the first section, it shows me the summary of metrics and KPIs obtained for the records from my interaction with the customer through my email, meeting, and phone calls. For instance, here the system is giving me this insight that I have initiated nine phone calls more compared to similar opportunities, or that I have invested 54 minutes lesser compared to similar opportunities. The second part is showing me my overall relationship health with the customer and includes recent trend for the deal like the next interaction or the last interaction. It also shows me the top three contacts involved in this deal from the customer standpoint. On the main part, it displays a comparison with similar deals that were won. So it shows me what's working or what isn't working in the deal's engagement practices. For instance, if I scroll down, I can see that my response time for this specific opportunity is 10 hours compared with 13 hours for similar one deals. So based on that information, I can tell that there's no problem related to my response time for this opportunity. If I scroll down, I can see a list of similar deals that were won. By opening one, I can learn what has worked and what didn't work and implement these learnings in the deal that I'm currently trying to close. Finally, at the bottom, it shows me all the interactions related to these deals on the timeline. Based on this information, I can now see that my relationship with this specific opportunity is going pretty well. So I'll introduce myself to Alex. So I'll navigate back to the main opportunity screen and I'll open her contact card. From there, I get different options to get introduced to Alex. And the first one is to leverage the integration with LinkedIn Sales Navigator, which is embedded directly inside Dynamics 365. So I won't have to navigate from one application to the other. My first option with Sales Navigator will be to use Icebreakers, which shows me shared connections, highlights about our profiles, and more. I can also use the get introduced function, which shows me our mutual connections and let me ask them for a warm introduction. I also have the option to use the who knows whom functionalities. Who knows whom's tell me if any of my colleagues knows her so they could introduce me to increase the positive outcome of the call. It tells me who knows the customer and how strong is the relationship. Who knows whom relationships are calculated from the communications and collaborations pattern of the other users in my organization using Microsoft 365. To get introduced, I can simply click on get introduced and it will send an email to Alan asking him to introduce me to Alex. After I got introduced, I will want to start building a strong relationship over time. As a sales representative, I interact with many customers and it can be difficult to remember details about each. Talking Point help me with that by providing a mechanism to automatically identify conversation starters by searching for keywords and emails that I exchanged with the customer. And it will then categorize them as, for instance, there I have a talking point about family, where it says I went out with my family last night. And if I want to have more details, I can expand it and see the entire message from my email. 
I also have access to entertainment talking point, health talking point, and sports talking point. So with all these tools available to me, I can make sure to build strong relationships with my customers and to be perceived as a trusted advisor. As you can see, Dynamics 365 Sales really helped David find relevant information about his opportunities, find effective ways of breaking the ice with his customer, track the relationship out of his opportunities, and tailor his content and interaction based on what's resonating the most with his customers. In the second scenario, I'll play the role of Jeremy. Jeremy is a inbound remote seller at Contoso Coffee. I'll show you how he can identify relevant customers to engage with by leveraging sales accelerators and lead scoring. How he can make sure he follows his organization best practices when going through the sales process with the help of sequences. And finally, how he can get more context on his leads before engaging with them using call intelligence. Now, let's look at it in the system. As Jeremy, I can navigate to my works list and see my work queue populated with leads and opportunities sorted by due time and by priority scoring. For instance, right now it's sorted by score, but I can change it to be sorted by due date or by name. I can see my due for today active task and understand who the next best customer is to reach based on lead and opportunity scoring, as we've seen in the first demo. From there, I can drill down into the most relevant lead and take advantage of predefined series of activities connected with the contact. It includes emails, phone calls, and tasks displayed in sequences according to my organization's sales strategy. It's configured to represent my organization's sales process and best practices, so it helps my organization overcome inconsistencies in training and lack of documentation as I progress through the sell journey. It also helps me concentrate on selling and, and give me a better understanding of what to do next. As for instance, in the case of Alex Baker as a lead, the step will be to first call her. Then I'll have to send a follow-up email. Then I'll send the call summary. Then another follow-up mail. I can easily contact the customer directly from the current screen using the soft phone dialer. And while speaking with the customer, I can take notes. Once I complete the call, an activity will be created with detail, details from the call. Once it's done, I can now move on to the next prioritized lead. In that case, L. Griffiths. My next step in the sequence will be to send the follow-up email. But before doing so, I want to catch up on the last call I had with Hale. And to do so, I can leverage what we call call intelligence by clicking on catch up on last analyzed calls. So I'll just click on it. And from there, I can have access to a transcript of the last conversation I had with my customer. I can also see all the contacts who participated in the conversation along with KPIs such as the average talking speeds, the switches per conversation, the average pause or the longest monologue. I can also have access to tags that has been added to the conversation to improve the searchability. On the action item tab, I can see items mentioned during the call and that I need to keep track of. Like in this example, somewhere in the conversation, it's been said that I'll send you the invite and you can forward it. So the system is proposing me to create an invite to send to the customer. Finally, on the highlight tabs, it will display talking point, such as keywords, stakeholders, products, and competitors mentions during the call and I can, I can use later on to do some more in-depth analysis. So once I get this context about our last conversation, I can move ahead and send the, the follow-up email I wanted to send to L and then move to my next lead in my list. In this scenario, we've seen how Jeremy was easily able to identify the most relevant customer to engage with eliminate guesswork, and efficiently go through his list of engagement. 
we've also seen how he was able to get more context on his lead before engaging with them. I know we've seen a lot in this video, but I think you can see how Dynamics 365 Sales can help you create better relationship and accelerate your time to quota using the latest technology and the power of the Microsoft Cloud. For more information about how you can activate those functionalities in your system or to get more information about licensing, please don't hesitate to reach out to your Microsoft team. Thank you for watching.